Hey guys, it's Jessica and today I clapped again. Did you see that video where I was like, it was the drugstore haul where I realized how often I clap in the intros and I'm trying to stop doing it but I can't stop. Um, anyway, I have an empties video and if you're new to these kinds of videos, where have you been? Um, these kinds of videos are awesome because I'm going to share with you guys products that I've used up completely or at least some of them, they're like, there's like this much left so I'm going to finish it up in like the next week. But it's awesome because I've really developed an opinion on them, whether I've, you know, when you've used a product all the way to the end, you know how you feel about it and whether or not you would repurchase it. So let's go ahead and get into it. Some of these things are dripping because I literally took them out of my shower like minutes ago. And I tried to dry them off, but you know how there's always water like trapped in the lid that just surprises you? Surprise! Your pants are soaking wet now. That would only happen to someone that's filming an MT's video, so that is a very specific demographic. Anyway. So one thing I finished up, I mean there's like this much and it looks so gross, but it's the CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser. This is the only cleanser I have gone back to again and again and again and again and I'm sure I will repurchase it. I'm going to try out a couple other cleansers, but I always go back to this one because it's inexpensive and I found cleansers I love, like there's a Paula's Choice one I love, but it is pricey so I don't always want to buy it, but it's amazing. It's from the Resist line, if you're curious, I can link it below. It's amazing, 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 amazing. And if you're curious about my skincare routine, um, I'm trying to think of the most recent video I've done on it, and if you'd like an updated video on it, just give this video a thumbs up. I haven't really thought about it in a while, but um, I love this cleanser. What am I talking about? Oh, I'll link below. Are you keeping up with me right now? Because I am crazy. I will link below the video where I talk about my favorite Polish Choice products. That's what I was trying to say, if I can find it. Anyway, this cleanser is amazing. You can find it at any drugstore, Target, anywhere. And it's inexpensive for how much you get and how amazing it is. You know, it's not as cheap as buying like a, a clean and clear one. It's probably like maybe $5 more-ish. But it is totally worth it. If you have dry skin, this knocks it out. It's hydrating, but it's a cleanser. It's the weirdest thing. It feels almost like... It's a very weird feeling. I've never tried a cleanser that has this same feel to it. So if you've never tried it, it is totally worth trying. Honestly, buy the full size. You will love it. You will love it. And it's sensitive on skin, so you're not gonna, it's not going to mess with your skin. It's only going to do good things for it. This is one that I finished up. I actually did some sponsored Instagram posts with Aveeno a long time ago about these because I love them so much, this whole line. But this one I finished up. No, Aveeno doesn't know about this video. It's not sponsored. Calm down. But... It's a nourishing coconut, and what I love about it is it really is a light scent. I've used this for bubble baths, and it gives the softest, like, foamiest bubbles, and it just smells so nice, but it's not overbearing. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. I'm so sad. There might be, like, one more use. I've had it, like, upside down in my shower, and now it's not. But I think there's, like, one more use. I'm going to squeeze it out of it. This is the second one I've had of this. That's how much I loved it. One thing that I'm almost done with, there's, like, this much, so I wanted to show it in this video is the Garnier Whole Blends. I showed this a million years ago and I don't remember if it was a favorites video. I've had it for that long because I usually have a couple shampoo and conditioners in my shower. Anyone else? Thumbs up if you have more than one set of shampoo and conditioner. Thumbs up if you've got more than two. Right now I only have two sets. But I've got so many other products in there, it's ridiculous. Anyway, but I really like this stuff. I'm gonna be honest. I like the smell more than anything. I don't think it's necessarily doing anything amazing for my hair. Um, I used it today and I, you know, this is just my natural kind of weird textured wavy hair. I like it, but it's, it just smells amazing. It's in Honey Treasures and it's repairing and it is very moisturizing. I will say that's very moisturizing. When I let my hair air dry, it does, I feel like kind of hold my hair together pretty well. But if you have really oily hair, I think you would hate this stuff. So that's something to just keep in mind. But if your hair is really dry and damaged, I think you'd really like it. And the smell is amazing. Oh my gosh, it's so good. One product that I have literally seen every YouTuber talk about. And I watched a... Sorry, I'm in a chatty mood today. So this is going to be a very chatty video. I watched another YouTuber talk about how... <laughs> just makes me laugh. And I actually really like this YouTuber. But um, I watched her talk about how... Um, a bunch of different YouTubers d talked about the same product on the like within uh, in their same favorites video, and that you know it it had to have been sponsored or like a lot of people thought oh it was sponsored but they weren't claiming they weren't saying that it was sponsored and I just giggled because I'm like honestly they were probably all sent the same PR package because they were all really big YouTubers that like talked about it and so they were probably all sent the same PR package but they all genuinely really liked that lipstick or that shade or whatever it was. 
And so they just happened to mention their favorite. So I, I just made me giggle that everyone was like, oh, it had, they had to have been paid for that. I'm like, first of all, you are an idiot if you're a YouTuber and not saying something is sponsored because you can get in so much trouble for it. A. B. What would be the benefit of a YouTuber lying about a sponsorship? What, what did they gain by saying it's not sponsored, but then it's actually sponsored? There's no, what would be the, di I mean, I don't get it. Why would anyone think there'd be a purpose in that? I don't, anyway, that is a total side tangent I could talk about for days. <laughs> it just makes me laugh. But I've seen so many YouTubers talk about this, and I'm sure, and I know that a lot of YouTubers got this like in a PR mailing from It Cosmetics. I get a lot from a lot of companies. I don't try it all. I give away just a ton of stuff that I never ever bring up on my channel. But this stuff, to be honest with you, I had and I was like, I don't really want to try it. And then I saw someone on YouTube talk about it and I'm like, well maybe I should give it a try. It was probably Emily Noel, because I love Emily Noel. Anyway, but um, I, it was probably her talk about how she liked it and so I'm like, maybe I should try it. Then I tried it and I'm like, oh my gosh, it is amazing. And then, you know, tons of people like it too. It's a cleansing balm. And that's why I was like, what is that? I don't want to try that. It was full. It's pretty much empty. I might be able to scrape a little bit more out and then recycle it. It smells so good. It smells very like kind of citrusy. It's this balm. It's like a creamy, waxy balm. And you just get a, a chunk out and you just rub it together and rub it all over. And it just completely breaks apart your makeup and then you splash water all over, and honestly, you could just do that and probably be fine. I always use, actually I've been pairing it with this, use my cleanser right after, like while my face is still wet, I just get the cleanser right away and just do it. It is amazing, I have had no breakouts except for this one right here, can you see it? Kinda looks like, like I feel like it's like a beauty mark. I should just like darken it and be like, it's a beauty mark. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> I love this stuff, I have one more uh, kind of put away that was in another mailing that I'm like, well now I know I want to like, I'm about to pull it right out and use it. It really is so good. I know it's pricey for what it is. They have, there are some more inexpensive cleansing balms. I want to say e.l.f. has one. I'll have to look it up and if, it, if they do, I'll put it below. I want to try some more inexpensive, see if I can find a cheaper dupe because this is really expensive and you're going to go through it really, really quickly because I do think you need a lot to really get the job done, but it's amazing. I don't, like I said, I don't like using makeup wipes because I feel like I've got to like rub so hard on my eyes and it's just not even worth it. But this stuff, you really don't. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. One I finished up a million years ago, this is the Rusk Weightless Hairspray. It was okay. Some people swear by this. I like that it is a little bit lighter. I don't hate the hairspray. And like if it was like on clearance for $3, I'd probably buy it because that's a really good deal. But I don't think there's anything so spectacular about it that it's worth running out and getting. And I really didn't like the smell. It was a very classic hairspray-y smell and I just don't like it. I would recommend any of the Sebastian hairsprays. If you're trying to like splurge on a bomb hairspray, any of the Sebastian ones are amazing. And the Bedhead Masterpiece hairspray has been my favorite forever. I haven't repurchased it in so long, but Ulta had a sale just the other day. It might still be going on for these travel size ones of that, and they were $3 originally. $10 for a travel size hairspray. $10. Who is paying $10 for a travel size hairspray? That's like three full size like Aussie hairspray. I, I can't even wrap my brain around that right now. Who is that rich? Anyway, doesn't matter. But that's an amazing deal. I literally bought three of them because I'm like, I will spend $9 on three of the most amazing hairspray ever so I can travel with it. So then I know, I feel like I always bring like random hairsprays just because they were really cheap. But when you travel, you want to look nice. Like you're in photos, you're videotaping if you're me and you're vlogging <laughs> with my husband. But anyway, oh, knocking everything over. Anyway, um, this stuff is just okay. Bedhead Masterpiece is amazing. I'll link that below. Any of the Sebastian ones are amazing. What else do I like? Oh my gosh, Living Proof, all of their stuff's amazing. There's so many amazing hairsprays. This one's not worth the money. That's what I'm gonna say about it. All right, this I have repurchased. This is a shave gel. It's the Aveeno Positively Smooth Shave Gel. Very simple, very inexpensive. I just like it. You know, I've tried all the flavored kinds. That makes it sound like you eat it. But all the scented kinds. And this one has like a slight smell, like it doesn't even say. But you know, kind of that classic Aveeno, classic kind of, oatmeal -y scent that I really like but it's just so simple and it d gets the job done it moisturizes my legs I have very dry legs I'm sure most of us do but like I feel like you know my legs especially this time of year fall into winter they're really dry they're kind of itchy and I really like this stuff this time of year so I've bought quite a few of these I have a brand new one in my shower now I do like it if you're kind of looking for something new you really haven't felt 
um, you really haven't felt amazing about any of the ones you've tried, you should try this. I like the EOS kind of pump, but it's not as foamy as this. This one's kind of in between. It's not super foamy, but it does foam a little. But the EOS stuff you run through so fast, and it's, you know, just that little bit more expensive, that I'm like, I don't know. I finished up a Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water. This is not the waterproof kind, it's the regular kind. I have another one of these that I did buy because I did like it. I really can kind of tell a slight difference between this and the Bioderma, and I don't know ingredients wise, I haven't looked that deep about, you know, what the ingredients are, if there's a difference, or maybe the amount is different. I do think Bioderma is a little bit more effective in removing eye makeup. And I haven't tried the waterproof version, but I know the waterproof version, isn't it? I don't remember, does that separate where you have to shake it and then it's not really truly a micellar water? I don't know. I know e.l.f. now has one out. I haven't tried it yet. I want to try it. I'm just curious because e.l.f., their skincare is so good and I'm just recently retrying some and I'm like losing my mind over them and my skin is clearing up so well and I'm just loving it. I'll have to, if you want to see a video like maybe on the new e.l.f. skincare that's out there, there's a couple products I just need to get, and then I've got tons that I'm trying, and they're just so good. Anyway, uh, speaking of Living Proof from earlier, this is their Curl. Okay, there's a hair on it. They're, it's the Curl Enhancing Styling Mousse. If you've got curly-ish or even just textured, wavy-ish hair, this really is nice. I will say when I use this, my hair is curlier than this. I use the Rusk like Styling Cream, and it's okay. It's not my favorite. I'm kind of just trying to use it up because it was a little pricier. <laughs> Anyone feel me? Don't you hate wasting your money on things that are like just okay? But then you're like, I better use it up. Me too. Anyway, um, this is, it really is nice. I don't use mousse often, but when I use this, I was like, oh my gosh. It got me into the mousse love world. That's not a real place. But I really, really like this. Again, it's pricey, so I haven't repurchased it. But I'm kind of thinking as I work my way through some other hair care products I have, this would probably be number one on my list to repurchase for when I have my hair like this. Um, this is the E Salon Never Let Go Firm Hold Hairspray. I really liked this hairspray. It's a very strong hold. I did a video with them a while ago, and I really like their products. They had a mousse as well that I've already finished up and I'm sure just recycled or gotten rid of. Um, can you recycle aerosol? I should look that up. Let me know. I don't, I feel like you can't, but let me know if I'm wrong or I don't know. But anyway, um, this stuff is amazing. If you like a really strong hold, this holds your hair. It is literally like pfft, just done. Like I've never had a hairspray so strong. So if you're looking for that, they sell their stuff online. It really is good. I'll link it below. I really liked this stuff. This is the Caudalie Vino Source Riche. And it's their Intense Moisture Rescue Cream. They had sent me this stuff a long time ago with the bunch. This is the only one out of them that I really, that was like a standout I really, really liked. It's made from like wine type ingredients, or so they say. It says apply morning and evening to face and neck, either by itself or after your serum. This stuff just felt so nice. It's not really, really thick and heavy. So if you don't like that, you'd still like it, even though it's like intense moisture rescue. But like I've had dry skin like forever. And ever since I've used this and I'm using, what was the other thing I mentioned in the other video I'm using? Anyway, I really feel like the this and the other product, I can't remember what it was, is really like making a difference in my skin. It's actually moisturizing. Now, this is really pricey. Do I think it's worth the ridiculous price tag? Maybe not. Just saying, because I feel like there are other products out there that you could try that are just as good but aren't super expensive. But maybe you have a gift card to a place where Caudalie is sold, whatever. It really is nice. This I'm just getting rid of because I didn't like it. This is the Bamboo Beach uh, Leave-In. It's their Summer Sun Recovery Spray Leave-In Conditioner. It's okay. I love a lot of their products, but this is one that it got all clogged up, so I know I can like run it under hot water and stuff. But honestly, it's kind of at that point where I'm like, I'm not. It's not even worth it. It was all right. It, you know, I would put it in when I would let my hair air dry, and it still looked nice, but it didn't do like it wasn't as moisturizing as I wanted it to be for a leave-in conditioner. So it was just kind of meh. I might see if like a sister of mine wants it or anything. I'm not just gonna throw it away because it's still pretty full. It's just all right. But you know, if you've seen some of my recent videos, that leave-in conditioner sprays make me crazy. Because it gets clogged up after two uses every time. And I'm like... I have two mascaras that I used up. 
and I've already repurchased one of them. So this is the pure, fully charged mascara. It's like magnetic. It is amazing. Again, it's expensive. And with mascaras, I'm like, it's something that you have to replace so often that it doesn't seem worth the price point to me. Again, because there's so many drugstore mascaras that are amazing, which I'll mention one in a second. But it is incredible. So again, like if you've got a gift card at like, that's how I always view it. You have a gift card to a place that sells pure cosmetics. The, it's just that classic, really volumizing, you know, kind of natural bristle brush. It's amazing, amazing, amazing. I almost want to see if I can get a couple more uses, but I, it's it's too old. I love this stuff so much. A lot of times you can get samples of this, and that would definitely be worth it because I feel like samples last as long as the full size does. Just saying. It's amazing. It makes your lashes really. I just had dominoes of all my empty products. Just. Um, Anyway, it's really, it's a great mascara, but this is the drugstore mascara. I swear by, I just repurchased and I'm so glad to have it again. I'm wearing it today. This is the CoverGirl Super Sizer Mascara. Not the one with the fibers. I've tried that one and it was not the same and not waterproof. It's just got to be the regular and this is just in very black. So I'm, you know, it is what it is, but it's the weirdest thing because they've got like bristles to brush through your lashes and kind of separate them. But then if you turn it, it's just almost like a flat, just like the like the actual applicator here, just extended with no bristles, and so you can just volumize with just a ton of product. It's the weirdest thing I've ever tried, but it is amazing and it works. And you can put a million layers of it on and it just keeps going and keeps making it more amazing. If I had all the time in the world, I would just keep applying it and they would just look like fake lashes. Uh, but I'm wearing it today and I feel like it's the only mascara that genuinely curls my lashes really well but it also volumizes and it's really black and it doesn't flake until it gets like really old like this one is. Uh, it's so amazing. If you haven't tried it, it's not gimmicky. I know it seems gimmicky but it actually works. <sighs> Finally. The last few products and you know what, I gotta be real, I forgot I was even saving these because I've used probably like 12 other masks but this is the Tony Moly mask, and it's their I'm Real Aloe Mask, and it's a moisturizing mask. Oh my gosh. I am new to the world of sheet masks, and I really didn't get it, because I was like, you know, like how much good can it do? It just seems like a waste of time, like you're putting it on, and it is what it is, but you know, how, how much could it actually do for your skin? The difference between when I didn't use any sheet masks, and when I do, you know, I'll use it maybe every couple days, my skin is like so much better. Like, ah, I can't even describe it. And so if you're kind of like ambivalent about it or maybe you're just like totally against it, it's worth trying some. Find some cheaper ones. Elf has some new ones out. There's like the, um, what are the, what's the coconut? Like the yes to coconuts. They have some ones out. I don't really like those only because I like them. I love the serum, but the actual paper mask of the yes to coconut ones, it's just really flimsy and it doesn't stay on the way it should just saying I mean there is a difference between the cheaper ones and the, anyway but these were amazing I've got a couple of these these are from skin food and it, this is their green tea one I have a tomato one I haven't tried um, a blueberry one I haven't tried I'm so excited I've got them kind of like tonight I'm gonna try one of them but the skin food ones are really really nice really really high quality and they make your skin look and feel amazing oh my gosh so I love those I would highly recommend the skin food masks I'll link those below but the Tony Moly ones are amazing as well and I'm doing a kind of drugstore gift guide and I've got a set of Tony Moly sheet masks that that would be an amazing gift if you just gave it to someone but also would just be amazing for yourself also you could split it apart and put it in stockings or something like that so I've got tons of other masks I've used but I just I really did forget I was saving these I feel like I should because these are so amazing those are all of my empties this time around. Let me know if you like these videos by giving this one a thumbs up. I hope that you'll catch me on all of my social media. I've got Snapchat where I post about all different kinds of makeup and beauty products I'm trying out and how I feel about them. Kind of more up to date, really quick reviews and things like that as well as swatches. Of course on my Instagram and Facebook and Twitter as well. Other than that, I hope that you'll subscribe here on my YouTube channel for more videos and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.